Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Snookus and this is another episode of our Hardship Iron campaign as Republican Spain. We just won our war here and it feels good, doesn't it? Nice that democracy survived for once. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a check here at my voice recording just to make sure that we actually have the recording started. And now we're gonna go. So let's see here our um, taxes go are going our um, everything's looking fine I think we're gonna start working away uh, working this um, deficit away so we um, can get ready for another war and as is the end of the Spanish Civil War with the Surrender of the last nationalist forces, the Spanish Civil War has come, come to an end. The Republicans have emerged victorious, and a new era has begun for Spain. The war-torn country has suffered greatly in the fighting, and there is much rebuilding to be done. A, aren't that true? So, uh, not to heal our nation then. I think we actually get a modifier. No, we don't. We probably will in a little while that says um, recovering from the Civil War or something. Can't remember. Uh, usually you get that anyway, but that might only be as uh, the fascist. I don't know. Um, I know that that's the modifier that prevents Germany from uh, gaining them into the faction, gaining Span Spain into the faction. Usually, at least. So um, yeah. Okay. So the Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished a bit over in uh, Beijing. So that should be interesting. Um, Listo, señor. We'll see about this. I think I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna prepare a little offensive here. Against Portugal. I don't, I don't know how... Um, how that's gonna go. I don't even know Listo if we avanzar. can do it. We could try. It doesn't hurt to, um, to justify. So let's... Um, Porto, sure. Gonna take almost a year anyway, so um, might as well begin early. Atento. Just in case that um, France decides to oppose us, we should um, have a contingency plan ready here. Um, Atención. You should get back to another army. So yeah, how are your days going? Um, we have. I'm having a really nice weather over here in uh, sunny Sweden. New um, layer of snow just uh, dropped down the other night, so uh, it's all white and beautiful over here. Or um, is that? Is that too much of what? Uh, is that too much a thing of what uh, Hitler might say? It's uh, white and beautiful over here. So anyway, um, we are starting a plan here against Portugal. I'm probably gonna attack them if we get the opportunity. You know, um, give the Portuguese workers um, give the Portuguese workers some liberation. Surely that should. Um, that should be the right thing to do, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Um, but anyway, who determines the borders of a nation and how are they determined? Whatever may, way people may have found in the past to justify where Republic of Spain ends and Portugal begins, we live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated and we are well within our rights to shift, to shift it to ensure the continued security of our people. Listening to Jose Diaz, is this our guy? Yep. Um, speeches and invasion of Portugal appears to, appears imminent. This dissenting voices have objected, but public support for the war is on the rise. All right, so um, soon the Portuguese workers are going to be liberated. So that, should, so that should be nice. Izquierda Republicana and Partido Comunista de España. Cool. I don't think the Communist Party was actually in charge during the war, although this is post-war, I suppose, but still. 
but you know, it's better than nothing. In this um, Kaiserreich mod that I'm planning on playing, uh, there's a bit more um, pluralism when it comes to the parties. There are a bit more um, to choose from. For example, the, the socialists are uh, divided between um, well, totalism, which is, I guess, Stalinism. Uh, although Stalin doesn't exist in it, but anyway. And syndicalism, which is more of a libertarian socialism flavor. So that's pretty interesting. So uh, it should it should be it shall it still be um, fascinating? It's fast fascinating to see how that plays out in the game. We're gonna take a look at that someday here. So we are continuing in on our. Um, Our research here. We are probably gonna continue doing this. Yep, we need some more industry and some more construction, and then I think we're gonna go for more doctrine and also more, um, um, also some tanks. I think. Yeah, not a lot of them, just a little, so they can uh, back up our. Um... Okay, so Japanese are preparing to attack China, and Poland has created. Um, a faction, which is weird because, um, well, it is because we play non-historical, but so that's cool, kinda. But um, they're still gonna get crushed, I, I assume, in a way. And here we go, the Chinese, Jap what's it called? The um, Japanese Sino War is on its way, and we have some. Um, some focused shoes. So I think we're gonna go with infrastructure. Um, not to that as a lot, but then we gain more construction effort and then eventually more research. So this is pretty essential for a minor nation to keep up. And Spain is somewhat of a minor nation. It's not France, it's not any of the big fives. Um, UK, Fra France, uh, Germany, it Italy and um, Russia. One, two, three, four, five, and the US. Okay, it's not one of the big six, I suppose. Or Japan. I'm thinking on the Security Council, on the UN. That's only five people because they won, so it's probably eight not large nations when I think about it. The Soviets, Germany, Italy, uh, UK, France, US, Japan. Japan. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm giving up. Whatever. Um, so manpower, we're gonna. We are spending some um, on uh, some power here, political power on um, justifying on Portugal. But when that's done, I'm gonna actually speed up the timer. We're gonna get some more army, so we don't just have volunteers. So we actually can get. Uh, somewhat of a manpower pool to back us up here and we've finally got enough of um, that so let's um, start building some troops we're gonna build some uh, mountaineers just to uh, prop up the border here and uh, since most of the core areas are mountains we can always use more of them uh, and we're also gonna get some cavalry it's not super u useful but it's something hopefully we can um, exchange them for some um, leg infantry organization and some entrenchment nice we can change them to um, motorized in the future get some trucks instead although that's in the future as well so we pretty much lost all of our fights by the way uh, when we were at war which is surprising to me. Usually, um, the Republicans win uh, the naval fight. Suppose that wasn't the case this time. And we are finally gonna—we are finally starting to stock up on some fighters, which is nice. We're never gonna be able to compete with pretty much anyone um, in the fight in the plane game, in the plane game, um, except maybe like Italy. But even that's kind of difficult.
Hey, China. The communist China has volunteers from uh, France, so that's cool. Um, yep, yeah, let's change our um, our uh, what's it called? Doesn't have a name. Okay, so um, yeah, we're uh, fighting to liberate um, the Portuguese workers, the laborers. They are um, suffering under the totalitarian Port Portuguese regime. <clears throat> Holy hell, Jose is struggling it hard here. Uh, okay, so let's uh, round up a couple of troops. R okay, so um, the UK is trying to... Um, The UK is trying to Okay, I thought they would They said they were influencing our uh, politics. I thought they would um, try to get us to be democratic, but it might just have been that they uh, guaranteed Portugal. Oh well, that happens sometimes. So we can just cancel that justification. No reason to keep it. France is uh, pursuing nuclear te technology. That should be interesting, doing that so soon. Okay, this is weird. With a tradition of British influence in the Mediterranean project from Gibraltar, it should come as no surprise that the British government has decided to put political pressure on the fascist. Fascist? We are not fucking fascists. Government in the Rep Republic of Spain. Um, yeah, alright. We are not fascist, though. Um, you should um, try to get that into your head. So, right, we should have tried to get this first. But I'm gonna try to go down the collectivist tree and um, internationalism focus. And try to get down to ideo ideological fanaticism. So we can create our own faction and try to get France into it. Okay, so we got a bunch of um, divisions ready to go. So let's just uh, let's just plant them in Madrid. We are um, we're not gonna attack Portugal probably, so uh, no reason to shove them over there. And we're not gonna um, we're not gonna attack France either, are we? Uh, and even if France attacks us, we do have enough troops to stand. Hold our ground for a couple of days. Do we have much of any resource, really? I don't think so. We've got some uh, tungsten, some steel. Uh, oh, even more steel in Portugal. That's uh, in Morocco. That's nice. Um, nothing down here. No. We could uh, increase our um, resource intake, but I doubt it would do much good. So let's instead. Let's do that, that we just did, uh, imp um, improve our military, uh, our infantry equipment. Um, we can take these guys and place on the, on the mountain range here. That's what they're good for anyway, so... Um, so, just a fair warning, that there's gonna be a few... Quite possible there's gonna be a few episodes where... Not a much, not much happens. Um, we we're either gonna have to wait for um, the fascists to instigate somewhere, and um, then we join in on the allies or the coming turn side, or we have to do something ourselves. And we tried to Portugal, but uh, the UK stopped us there, not surprisingly, and. We don't really have a, not, a, a huge amount of other options. We could go after Belgium, but I suppose um, the UK and the French would uh, stop us there as well. There's mainly the resources here in um, African Belgium we would like. Some more infantry equipment, just um, shore up that one advantage that we do have. 
Um, okay, so let's... We don't need more conscription right now. We could get a tank designer. Get some um, faster research time there. Will Would be nice. We should also change up to build... Um, some more civilian factories. So we get a larger... Um, what's it called? Construction base, and then we can build more military factories. And that also means that we have a more a larger trade base to work with. Listo. Listo. Apparently, they're finished with something. They're done, and they're good to go. Um. So yeah, where do you think we should go? We we want to take. Paris and France because um, they are buddies. Could attack England, I guess, and get the, or the, the British, not England. Or we could limit ourselves to England, I suppose, but I don't really see the gain in doing that. Okay, the Anschluss. So um, the local Nazi party in Vienna coup d'etat um, Austria, and now they joined Germany. That's, um, you know, it's picking up speed here. I suppose. We could try to use our political power and influence the ideology of some uh, some nations here and there. Try to get uh, Ireland communists or um, maybe Germany communist. Actually, let's do that just for the for the heck of it, for a bit of fun. It's not gonna succeed, but uh, it would be cool if it did. A super. Um, Super communist Europe, not even needing a war, just ganging up on Japan or something. That would be cool. Um, yep, alright. Let's continue on this path. A deep battle, I think, focus a lot on um, attack, which is good. But it's a lot mechanized and um, overwhelm attack. That's what does that do? Right, um, it's a lot of. Um, I mean, we we do get more max planning, which is nice, but it's more um, a tank doctrine, I believe. Although this is nice, supplies consumption, more tactics movement, tech. Yeah, that's. But it is a bit tank focused, and this is a more. Um, People's army, as you can see. Less attrition, better partisans, which doesn't do anything. But mass charge is more of our flavor. Um, infantry, infantry. Yeah, we're gonna do go this path. It's, um, it's far more fitting for us. So let's see if we can't get a, a tank or two um, researched, so we can uh, get something of a metal armada. Our army is um, steadily increasing here. Listo, señor. Let's send our mountaineers up here as well. Sí, señor. Follow Nanjing. Okay, so China is quickly falling here. Okay, I wouldn't say quickly, but it is steadily falling here. Um. I was gonna look at our experience here. We do have some um, regulars, quite a lot of regulars. One uh, seasoned guy. So you know what? Let's take the seasoned guy Listo para avanzar. together with our best general. Like, um, yeah, let's let's go with this guy. You can get a new, you know. Um, and then another guy, like um, you. Army 5. And let's send them over to the People's Republic and see if we can help against Japan here. Oh, we can send 3 now, so let's uh, get another one over there. Attention! Ordenes!
should say, this is another thing I've been thinking about. Um, it should say which army this is, not only how many divisions and which leader it is, but also which what the army name is. Um, but no matter. So they're gonna arrive the Munich Agreement, which means they cede a bit of Czechoslovakia to Germany. And uh, Germany pinky promises to not attack anyone else. Um, we'll see how that goes, won't we? Yeah, uh, our forces will arrive in in um, five days, in four days even. But that will have to happen next time, for because the time is up and this is the end of the episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, hopefully I'll see you next time, and please leave a like if you like this series and want to see more of it, and please consider subscribing. So yeah, have a nice day, bye!